Jeeva Korja. Hello my friends and you're very welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild World episode 30. Here we go. Hey everybody, the bright nights are here! I am so excited to be filming tonight. It's a nighttime episode and there's a special event happening in Wild World at the minute. It is the Bright Nights. So excited. I'm so excited I don't know where to begin. Also episode 30. How crazy is that? 30 episodes we've done of Wild World. Thank you guys so much for watching 30 episodes and liking this series <laughs> for as long as you have so far. So it's the bright nights as you can see, or the bright night, the bright nights. Everyone's house is decorated with lights. They look so Christmassy. I wish that they did this at Christmas time, to be honest. I know Wild World doesn't do you know, Western holidays or whatever, doesn't do Christmas or anything like that. I wish they were uh, Christmas, but uh, anyways. It's February, we're still going to enjoy the Christmas lights, <laughs> the bright lights. So everyone's house is decorated. So one of the things we have to do is talk to Tortimer outside the town hall. And I think we have to judge. We have to pick what we think who has the best lights. So that's pretty cool. This has been running all week. Um, I'm actually only getting to film tonight and I wanted to do a nighttime episode because the lights are also in the cedar trees as well. How cool do they look? So, so cool. I love this so much and I'm so excited to be filming at night time. I haven't filmed a nighttime episode in a little while. Like I know I filmed the sunset one a couple episodes back, but this is actually night time. It's almost 8 p.m. It's Thursday night. Let's talk to Tortimer and see what we have to do. Burr, right, cha-cha-cha, burr, right, cha-cha-cha. Right now, home is in the middle of the bright nights. And I'm the mayor. Life is good, Sprout Wooey. Hehehe, <laughs> herf. By the way, what do you think of the lights here in town? Gor- lame. Oh my gosh, no. Gorgeous. That's the spirit, Sprout. Now, if you feel that way, then perhaps you could tell me which house looks best. Ooh, we haven't got to look at them, though. Ooh, Gladys. Ooh. We have to meet Gladys. Oh, she took Lily's place. I'm so mad about that. Well then, this one perhaps. Oh. Oh no. I messed this up. I was supposed to look at the houses first. Although they all look pretty similar anyway, but I actually wanted to see, first of all, who I was gonna pick. Oh no. There's no way to get out of this. It keeps giving me the options. So I'm gonna go with our next bestie, Pinky. I think I'm gonna go with Pinky because I just have a feeling that Pinky is really good at lights. So I'm gonna do a blind guess and go with Pinky and let's go check out Pinky's house. I, I know it'll be good anyway. Pinky, huh? You have very good eye there, guppy. All right then, I'll let Pinky know how you feel. Nice lights, I'll just say. Just a little compliment from a gracious mayor. I did kind of mess that up. <laughs> I was supposed to look at the lights first. But let's go check out Pinky's house. That is really nice, actually. I mean, it's also very similar <laughs> to everyone else's, so maybe it's not a big deal. But uh, Pinky, I voted you as the best house. I've already finished decorating my house. Now all I can do is wait. So when you give your vote to Tortimer, you should totally throw your hands in the air and scream, hey, old mayor dude, Pinky rules. I mean, I kind of did do that. I can see my breath. Oh, right, right, you wanted something, didn't you? I'm bored. Your house. It like grew a second floor. How is that even possible? What? Tom Nook built that addition? Tom Nook, huh? Well, why doesn't he do the same to my house? Life is so not fair. Well, we did pay for it, Pinky, in fairness. That is how life works, unfortunately. I do like Pinky's house a lot, so I'm quite happy with my decision, but I'm gonna look at everyone else's too, but I have a feeling they're all quite similar. Here is Drake. Hey, Erin, what do you think of my house? Getting that pathetically dim glow took a lot of, took a lot of work. <laughs> no lights on the shop. That would have been nice. <laughs> I'm just going to look at everyone's house. Ooh, that's nice too. Oh, not as nice as Pinky's, but it's all nice. Drake's house. Let's go meet Gladys, actually. Gladys is the new addition to the town and her house is, okay, just above the bridge. Let's go meet Gladys. That name is familiar, but I cannot picture what animal she is. So let's go find out. Oh my gosh, nice to meet you. Out for a nice evening walk, are you, Stretch? My name is Gladys and you are Erin, hello. One night you and I should go stargazing and see if we can spot Capricorn. I would love that, honestly. I would absolutely love that. It's getting pretty dark out. 
Anyway, did you need something? Wow, company. I haven't even finished unpacking what a nice town this is. I'm so happy that I moved. Interesting. It looks like um, Bowser's castle, her wallpaper. <laughs> all right, Gladys, we'll check back in another time. So this event has been running all week. I haven't got a chance to log into the game at all and do any filming this week. I managed to squeeze some time tonight because I wanted to get a Bright Lights episode. I think it ends on Monday. I think that's what the notice board said, that it ends on Monday. Bright Nights will continue through next Monday. Only with fun can we survive the harsh winter. Okay, so through next Monday. I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more time over the weekend to record any more episodes. This probably will be the only Bright Nights uh, episode, unfortunately. Unless maybe on Monday. I'm not sure how that works. Is there some kind of an end event, kind of like the Acorn Festival where it gets wrapped up? I'm sure it is. But anyways, I'm going to, first of all, look for fossils and get them appraised. And then we'll go from there. Also, I did log into the game very briefly the other day and picked up a coconut on the beach. So we now have two coconuts from the beach. And this is fossil number one. I absolutely love the color of the sky. I know I say that for every everything, but I really, really do love the stars, the starry night, the deep purple sky. I love it. Fossil number two. And fossil number three. Got them all quickly today, thankfully. So let's go get them appraised. Fossil number one is a Terra left wing. We definitely have that already. Fossil number two is a saber tooth torso. Ooh. Oh, no, we have it. And fossil number three is an ammonite. We also definitely have that too. Okay, no new fossils today, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but also nice because it means we're gonna make money. Oh my god. Okay, no money rock so far, but this music is actually my favorite track. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but I did not it didn't register with me tonight. Um 8 p.m. from this game and I think it's City Folk as well is my full-time or all-time, I meant to say, all-time favorite Animal Crossing track. I am even considering doing a cover of it on my main channel, which is music and guitar. Um, I think I am going to do that at some point this year. I'm not sure when, but that's how much I love this track. I love it so much and I want to do my own version of it, which would be very cool. So yeah, anyways, side note, still looking for the money rock and I'm going to keep looking for the money rock while I just enjoy the music. So I hope you guys like it too. Just let it carry you away. By the way, Cyrano did a very good job on his house too, actually. Very impressed with you, Cyrano.
Oh, I completely, completely messed up the money rock. I could have sworn I already checked this rock. I was looking all over and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought I double checked a couple of rocks and I could have sworn this was one that I already did. So I just went up and hit it just to double check like I did with just like three others and I ruined it. We only got 300 bells. Oh, uh, okay. Well, look, what are you gonna do? <laughs> that was annoying. I should have just dug the holes. I could have, I could have sworn I did that rock. So 300 bells, uh, plus I caught a pill bug. So let's just go sell all of that right now. All right, 25,588 bells. Still not bad. Considering we had three fossils to sell, we still made some money. My goal today, since we haven't made any mortgage payments in a couple episodes, I would like to make 50 grand today or a little bit more than 50,000 bells and pay off about 50,000 off the mortgage that would make another little chunk off it. We're also gonna do some more fishing tonight because I haven't fished in the nighttime in a long time and hopefully I can redeem myself from the last episode because we did not do well fishing last time. So I'll probably pick some fruit, make some money and do some fishing too. Octavian, I've been meaning to ask you something. If you could be anything in the world, would you be a pirate ninja? Should I just say something different? I've answered this question like three times. I've always said pirate ninja. Let's go for a zombie squatch, even though it's probably not the truth. Hmm, sucker. I should have known you were one of them. Whatever that means. Cockroach. I'm gonna get you finally. I always miss the cockroaches. Gotcha. Oh, the purple's gone, I just realized. Purple sky's gone, it's now blue. So I finished selling a bunch of fruit and we now have 54,132 belts. Five, four, one, two, three, one, three, two. One, two, three. 54,123 bells, excuse me. Uh, Tortimer, does he say anything else? Pinky, the esteemed mayor, and Aaron. Yes, I'd definitely say that we are the pillars of this community. Also, I need to check on my garden. Forgot about that, that we planted flowers in the last episode. And I don't know, I forgot to actually look and see if they were okay. Oh, we have mail too. Um, oh, need to water these. All right, let's water the flowers. That's perfect, so that we can listen to this music while I water the flowers. Okay, and let's check the mail while we're here. Just one letter from the HRA. 48050 points is coming together, but still a bit sterile. Let your creative juices flow. Okay, I'm gonna toss that. Now I'm gonna do some fishing. Try and catch a few fish. Hopefully it'll go better. I'm gonna really focus and concentrate so that I can catch a couple of fish at least. Hopefully some new fish. Here's one. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go for this one. Ah, uh, Pate, can't talk right now. Oh, fine. Like, hi, it's Erin. Hey, I have something that I totally need to ask you. You have a sec, please? Okay. Yeah, that's so super great. Oh yeah, I suppose I should ask you. What do you think of me? Seriously, want to get to know me? Sounds like fun. What? You seriously think so? Seriously? Oh my gosh, I'm so totally shocked. I think I might like faint or something. Okay. I'm not sure where the getting to know you came in, but at least she's singing. So I love when they sing. Okay, where did this fish go? Did I lose the fish? Oh no, it's here. Okay. Okay, this is a dab. Yeah, I recognize that. So that is not brand new. Ooh, tiny little baby one. Ah, too late. Here's another one. Let's try again. Nope, didn't work. I'm not giving up yet, it's okay. 
It kind of landed on his head. It was weird. So he pulled it down quickly. Ugh. Same thing again. Does that mean they're rarer? If there's a less time for you to pull up the, the bait? That doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> Another horse mackerel. I actually know them visually now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going, try a couple more times. Another dab. Ugh. Why is it so hard? It's, it, it's, it must be very frustrating to watch. I'd be frustrated if I was watching this because it seems so easy, but when you're actually doing it, it's tricky. Like you think you have it and then it's just gone. Horse mackerel. It makes me wonder that the ones I'm missing, are they like new or rarer ones? Because they're just the ones I'm not getting and they seem to disappear quicker. And the ones that we already have, we'll say the more common fish, are they give you more time. Maybe they're just because they're easier to catch. That's all by design by the game. I don't know. Just a, just a theory. Another dab. See, we're just getting ones that we already know. Ah, oh, too late. I would just love to get something that we don't have yet. I'd love to get something new tonight. Oh no, that's a carp. Yeah, we have a carp. Pond smelt? Yeah, I can guess them like a second before. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Ooh, is that... Oh, a dace. We have dace. Oh, another dab. I was... I want to try one more sea fish and see if I could. Okay, I am going to try one more. This is the last one. <laughs> this guy right here. We better catch this one. And it better be new. Another horse mackerel. Oh my gosh, I'm losing hope. No fish over here, so I think that's my that's my sign. That's my sign. We're done. All right, let's go pay the mortgage and wrap up this episode here. Paying the mortgage. Here we go. Oh, sorry, Pinky. And it's still Pelly. Oh, I thought it might be Phyllis. Maybe not yet. Fifty thousand bells. That brings us down to three hundred and twenty thousand bells. Okay, another chunk. We are getting there. Okay, now we'll talk to you, Pinky. Oh well, hey there. It's E Dog. You know, I'm getting kind of bored with my catchphrase. Wanna see? Boring. Teach me a new catchphrase. Come on, I can't keep saying what. No, I love what. Keep it. Wait a sec. That means the natural me is the best me. Really? Really? Weird. Okay then. I'm gonna be like this from now on. Yay me. Yeah, I like her what. So tonight was fun. The fishing is a little frustrating, but it's okay. We'll we'll get there. 
I have to remind myself it's meant to be fun. It's all good. I also wish that we could put lights on our house. I wish that we got to do that. That would be so cool. I would love lights on our house, but oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This was so much fun. I really, really did enjoy it. So I hope you did too. Thank you so, so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video. All that stuff. Would really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much again, and I will see you in the next one. Slango fall. Goodbye.